Welcome to my magic fort. <laughs> space that I created for myself, a beautiful little gift for lots of reasons. One of them is to record music. I've been doing a lot of recording for choir music. To meditate, to think, to be warm and cozy. When it was 40 below here in Wisconsin, I came in here, turned my lights on, and it, it's so warm in here. It's like kind of like a sauna. And to give myself space. Have you ever just felt like there's not enough space for me? <laughs> I think that's something that I have felt quite a bit in my life. My wheelchair takes up, in my opinion, quite a bit of space. And it seems like it's always just running into things. I've tried to shrink myself to fit in to places and that can be both literal and a metaphor for my life trying to contain all this energy <laughs> i watched a lot of videos on youtube about how to make one of these things build a pvc pipe recording booth but they weren't cozy they weren't somewhere I'd want to hang out and spend a lot of time. They were very utility to be cheap, you know, inexpensive PVC pipe recording booths. It's something multi-use that was more fun and enjoyable to hang out in. Somewhere that would feel inspiring and creative to me. So I found these plans online that were just perfect for me. I'm like a kid and I'm short and it looked like a little house. I had these very dramatic bohemian ideas about what I wanted this little space to look like. But to keep it inexpensive, I did a PVC pipe house shape. outside with double layers of blankets. And then I wanted to be able to open the, the tent curtain and reveal this cozy, warm, decorative space that was like butter soft. So I literally got butter soft fleece for the inside. But I think the biggest thing is that th I gave this space to myself. It was a gift to myself. Weird to admit and almost uncomfortable because it feels selfish, right? It feels uncomfortable comfortable to say I gave myself a gift I don't know why why is that so hard to say <laughs> something that I got from my sisters that I think is really important but I'm the worst at is self-care this is kind of my sanctuary a place that I can close myself off from whatever's going on out there just come in here and allow for whatever to be. Emote, sing, cry, read, whatever. This little fort is designated to hold space for me. I went back to counseling, to therapy. This is the space that held that for me. I did all my therapy sessions on Zoom. That's the magic, I think, of intention and bringing what you want into a space. 
And so that, this, this little fort, my little gift to myself, become a place to commune with divinity and humanity. <laughs> I wonder sometimes if people feel like they have space. What is the space that you've created for yourself? I, I would love to see it. I would, if you would be willing to share it. If you have questions about how I built this little dude, give me a buzz, cause I'm around. <laughs>